Kelly. I'm at the Dashing Diva Nail Salon with celebrity technician Patty Yankee, and she is showing us the hottest nail trends of this season. So, Patty, which one are we doing now? Now we're going to do the reverse French, and you've chosen to use white with a dark blue. First, we're going to apply a good base coat. Is there a certain type of base coat you want to use with the reverse French? The best kind to use are creamy, ridge filling base coats because that's going to give you a really nice, smooth finish. Okay. Next, you're going to apply the base color, which is the color that you're going to use for the moon. Now, when you apply the white base, just make sure that you have good, even color in the cuticle area. Okay. Where you're going to have the moon. The rest of the nail, you don't have to be that particular about because you are going to go over it with another color. Do you want to fill up the polished brush with a lot of product and place it right at the cuticle and pull it forward? Okay, now while that's drying, I'm going to show you a couple of options that you can use. You can either go with the page reinforcements. Okay. You can get these French manicure stickers. Okay. Or you can use actual price stickers. Now we have our page reinforcers that we're going to place on the nails and the moon portion. You want to give enough pressure that the polish won't bleed, the blue won't bleed underneath it. But not too tough that it'll pull the white polish off underneath. Okay, once those are in place, and you can polish the blue polish okay. on the remainder of the nail. And what type of blue are we using? This is Dashing Diva's NYPD Blue. You can go right up to the edge of the page okay. reinforcement mm -hmm. with the blue polish. Now we're going to apply the second coat of blue. And you want to try to apply this blue and thin even coat so it doesn't run underneath the sticker. And what happens if when you take one of the strips off, it did pull underneath? A good way to fix it is to use the same paintbrush right here and you can just dip it in some polish remover and swipe it off. Okay. The white part, and then you might need to just touch up the white a little bit. Okay, Kelly, now that the polish is dry, I use a pair of cuticle nippers and I just gently pull off the reinforcement tabs. Now we're gonna seal the whole look in with the top coat. Okay, great. And this is a great look for prom since you can alternate the colors and use whatever is gonna complement your dress. Right. You can also add rhinestones or glitter into the moon area or so also on the cute. tip and it will really make a nice look for prom. Love that idea. And you wanna make sure this is really dry before you apply the top coat so the white doesn't pull over onto the blue. Okay. And if you notice, I'm also wiping off my brush in between because it's gonna pick up the colors. Okay. So they don't bleed on each other, just wipe it off on a piece of paper before you go back in. And you're all set. Thank you, I love this reverse Manny look. I'm definitely going to wear this out. Try it at home, and for more nail tips, check out 17.com.